Elizabeth Smartstadt comes out as gay, blessed, blessed Mormon church. Okay, so this is a big deal apparently because these people are famous, but I did not know, I don't know who these people are, but let's look at the summary. Ed Smart, who's Elizabeth Smart's father, has come out as gay. The father of Elizabeth Smart stated, he is finally acknowledging a part of me that I have struggled with most of my life and never wanted to accept. Uh, in a letter sent to loved ones Thursdays, uh, Thursday on Facebook, Messenger reports NBC News. Again, NBC News. These people must be a big deal if, if this is getting covered on the news. Ed's daughter, Elizabeth, made international headlines. Oh, okay, yeah. So now we're hearing why these people are famous. So Ed's daughter, Elizabeth, made international headlines when she was kidnapped from her Salt Lake City home at age 14. For people that don't know, Salt Lake City is like Mormon capital of the world. Uh, she endured captivity for nine months and after her rescue by police cited for to her Mormon To her Mormon faith as a factor in her survival, but isn't her Mormon faith also a factor in her kidnapping? Wasn't that I don't know why she was kidnapped. Do you know Do you know her story? I don't know her story Anyways, let me continue uh, tell me, tell me at the end if that was why she was kidnapped. I mean, uh, no, the kidnapper had, uh, the, uh, from what I read, uh, quite a few religious backgrounds. I mean, yeah. he had some kind of Christian backgrounds. At a point, he even had a Hindu background and other Whoa. stuff on okay. that. Okay, well, that's okay. That's weird. Uh, as advocacy kept her uh, plight in the media during the, her kidnapping. There, there have been mixed reports about whether Ed would stay in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is the Mormon Church, basically. Uh, as an openly gay man, the Church is not a place where I find some solace any longer, he wrote in the letter. So basically, the reason why this is getting attention is because these people made a huge deal out of their Mormon faith during that kidnapping, right? And they're like, oh, Mormon faith is so great, this is why we survived. And now when they find out the father is gay, he's coming like, you know, screw the Mormon church, I'm out, these people are intolerant. Which is, which is kind of like, not, like people might say, I mean, it's fair to say like, good, good job, good for you to, for calling at the Mormon church out for its anti-gay bigotry and intolerance and calling it, as you see, you know, calling bullshit on what they're doing. But... I also wonder, like, wait, so if you weren't gay, like, you ha it had to personally affect you for you to realize that this is wrong? Like, would you have noticed, like, would you have noticed that this is an intolerant ch church of gay people if you were, if you were not gay? Do you know what I'm saying, Shapam? It's, it just seems like people just decide that something is bad if it affects them personally. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Like, uh, he, uh, what he said, uh, although he, what he said is like, uh, he himself has been a victim of that shunning from the Mormon church, of the shunning and mocking and insulting of them. But he has stayed quiet for all these years and now finally decided to come out. Yeah. I'm not sure. But, uh, I mean, so he has been like suffering for years. If what he said is true, like he has been suffering for years. Right. So, uh, this is this is probably a big deal in the Mormon community because I guess these two people are really high profile people. So I guess this is why it's shaking the Muslim in the not Muslim the Mormon world right now. This is why. For by the way, this is their picture. I think the mother, the daughter, and the father. Right. Yeah. I guess that's them. Yeah. Uh, also, what he said is like that he will like to stay in the church unless the church wants him out. Oh, what? Really? Uh, so he's yeah. Okay, that's horseshit then. I mean, I, I don't understand. He knows that his church is homophobic. He knows yeah. everything, every stance they have wants against. To be there. And he still wants to be a part of the church unless the church actively wants to him out. Yes. Which I think they will want yeah, him, they out, will, but, they want him out. But yeah. uh, even he said that that's like, why? Why? Why are you endorsing such a hateful ideology? Evelyn is saying, not sure why this is newsworthy. She is, she is the story. Well, we already explained why she do. I mean, 
it's making it's make we're just covering the news that is that people are reacting to the most and this is one of them and it's also based on requests of people what to cover and uh, jenny saying this family has some serious courage kudos to them well no not really uh, given that he's not quitting the church. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.